Hey, welcome back to Thursday Thoughts. We are launching into fasting in February. And uh, you can see I'm here at uh, Kaiser just outside of the ER. And I just got done spending some amazing time with Rena Werner, who is uh, easily one of the most godly, precious people I've ever come to know. Been a friend of, of Cindy's family. Uh, for, since she was just a little girl. And she's fighting stage four cancer and uh, she's here in the ER because she was experiencing a lot of pain. And in the, in the middle of that, uh, she's saying, I have lived the most blessed and beautiful life. This has been a beautiful journey. Here she is fighting cancer and yet she has beat the doctors they said she should have been gone a couple years ago and she's still here. I wouldn't be surprised if she's still here a couple years from now, but she's just said, however many more days that I, I have here, I, I want, I want God's grace all over it. And I, and as I'm, I'm listening to her, um, as she's talking about Jesus, um, the way she knows Jesus is the way I want to know Jesus. And in fact, that's the reason why we fast. We don't fast um, to get God to do something for us. We, we fast so that we can receive what it is that God's already doing so that we can we can come closer to him. As my dad said, I'm um, growing up, uh, John, you're as close to Jesus as you want to be. And after spending time with Rena here in the ER, I just, that's all I want. I just want to be closer to Jesus, even if it means saying no to food. <laughs> Food, I love, you know how much I love food, but uh, I love Jesus' presence more. And what's so interesting about about this is that uh, I was actually going to be, I'm fasting social media, and so I could just focus in on, on God more and fasting um, some meals and all that, all that kind of stuff. And I was going to be, I was actually going to be telling you guys today that I'm, I'm not going to be doing Thursday Thoughts. And, uh, and yet, Rena said one thing that I watch every single day or every week is, is your Thursday thoughts. I love, I love being able to hear where you're at and what it is that God's speaking to you, which of course, that's been my heart since I started this in, in 2020 in the middle of the pandemic was not more content, but just to simply share what it is that God has, was putting on my heart for that week, some, some thoughts. And I don't, I don't ever want to get to that place where this is just something that I'm putting on there because we need content instead of being content in Christ's presence. And so Rena, <laughs> this is me saying, I'm not gonna stop Thursday Thoughts. If you're the only one that's watching this, um, that is absolutely worth it to me. And it means so much to me that this would mean so much to you. And for anybody else out there, no matter what it is you're going through, that you could be inspired by Rena's faith in the emergency room and saying that even in the midst of an ugly situation, this is a beautiful journey with Jesus. We just did a little worship in the room and she said, I can, even as we're worshiping, she's like, I, I can see the angels filling, filling this room. <laughs> um, I, I, want, I want to know Jesus the way Rena does. And so I, I want to invite you into this fast in February. Uh, we're launching house churches. We're going to be studying um, about fasting and why um, it shouldn't be optional. It'd be central to our expression and our walk with the Lord. And in the American church, we've just kind of like left it behind. And, uh, and so I'll just be sharing about my fasting journey uh, with you during these Thursday thoughts to invite you into the journey with me. Um, but I want to close with this quote, uh, prayer and fasting go together. And prayer is uh, grabbing a hold of the unseen and fasting is letting go of the scene. Um, my heart for you and I in February, as, even as we start Lent, the 40 days of fasting that leads up to Easter Sunday, um, Good Friday and Easter Sunday, is that you and I would grab a hold of the unseen and that we would let go of the scene, that we would uh, leave behind our false escapes and run to the only one that can truly bring us peace and joy like my friend Rena has right here. So let's take this journey together. Uh, if you want to join me on Wednesdays specifically, uh, where I'm going to be fasting from uh, sunrise to sunset. And uh, let's contend to get closer to Jesus on this 40-day journey, February and March, leading to Good Friday and Resurrection Sunday. If you're in with me and you want to join me on this 40 days of seeking His presence, practicing His presence, let me know in the comments below. God bless.